congratulations! We are now in lesson 2 of our milk, which is materials that sink and float. In our environment, there are many and different materials that can be classified based on its ability to sink or float in water. There are many materials that will sink while other materials can float at first but then sink as they absorb water through their holes. In this section, you will learn more about how to classify things that sink or float. For our experiment later, here is our guide questions. Number one, what are the materials that sink? Number two, what made them sink? Number three, what are the materials that float? And number four, what made them float? Here is a table of materials that may float or sink in water in our experiment later. Fill out the table by marking check the observed characteristic of the materials in the first column such as rubber ball, ping pong ball, pencil, metal spoon, styro, crumpled aluminum foil, stone, mineral water bottled with cup, saucer, and plastic cup. In this activity, we need the following materials. Rubber ball, ping pong ball, pencil, metal spoon, styro, crumpled aluminum foil, stone, mineral water bottled with cup, saucer, and a plastic cup. Using the table, we are going to list materials that may float or sink in water. In this small basin of what filled with water, we are going to slowly drop each of the materials into the basin one at a time. You are going to fill out the table by marking a check that observes the characteristic of the materials. Are you ready? Let's begin. The first material is rubber ball. Observe the characteristic of the materials whether it floats or sink. Next material, ping pong ball. Will it sink or float? Next material, pencil. Will it sink or float? Next, metal spoon. Will it sink or float? Next, a styro. Will it sink or float? Next, a crumpled aluminum foil. This is made of metal. Let's see, it will sink or float. Next, a stone. Will sink or float? Next, a mineral water bottle with cup. Will sink or float? Next, a saucer. Will it sink or float? And last, a plastic cup. Will it sink or float? Based on experiment, you may now accomplish this table. Remember, 
you can always pause this video anytime so that you have enough time to answer this activity or you have 10 seconds to answer and this timer starts now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Time is up! And now, let us check your work. One rubber balls floats. Ping pong ball floats. Pencil floats. Metal spoon sinks. Styro floats. Crumpled aluminum foil floats. Stone sinks. Mineral water bottle with cup floats. Saucer sinks. Plastic cup floats. How many of you got 10? Very good. How about 9? Wonderful. How about 8? That's great. How many of you got 7 and below? I am glad to see that you're doing your best to answer this activity. Keep it up! Look at the following materials. What are the materials that sink? Very good! The materials that sink are hollow blocks, nail, and towel. What made them sink? Correct! It absorbs water or it's heavy weight. What are the materials that float? That's correct! The material that floats are styro, wood, and plastic bottle. What made them float? Correct! Because of their shape or it is light in weight. Sink means to go to the bottom of water. Float means to stay on top. Some things float on surface of the water, others submerge partway down, while others sink because they have the ability to absorb water. Some things sink very fast and some things sink very slowly. The shape of an object can affect its ability to float. But some materials float no matter what their shape, such as styrofoam and wood. Some things float at first, but then slowly sink as they absorb water through their holes. This activity is intended for you to practice further in order to master the competency. Identify the materials in each item usually found inside our home. Write S on the space provided if it sinks and F if it floats. Remember, you can always pause this video anytime so that you have enough time to answer this activity or you have 10 seconds to answer. And this timer starts now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up. Number 1, S, 2, F, 3, S. 4F, 5F, 6S, 7S, 8F, 9S, and number 10F. How many of you got 10? Very good. How about 9? Wonderful. How many of you got 8? That's great. 
how many of you got 7 and below. I am great to see that all of you are doing your best for this activity. This activity is designed to process what you have learned from the lesson 2. Fill in each blank with the correct word to complete every statement. Select your answer from the word inside the box. Remember, you can always post this video for you to have enough time to answer this activity. Here is the correct answer. Some things float on top of water, some things stay part way down, and some things sink. Some things float at first, but then sink as they absorb water or take water on true holes. How many of you got five? Very good! How about four? That's good! This activity is designed to showcase your skills and knowledge gained and applied into real life concerns and situation. Write only your answer in your activity sheet to be submitted on Friday.